Hello friends and welcome back to my crafty space where I share my memory keeping projects and processes with all of you. If this is your first time here, hello and welcome. My name is Crystal and I am super excited that you are here. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below so you can see all of my future crafty videos and any of the products or the links I mention I will put in that description box down below. So today I am working on something a little bit different. I uh, received this stamp set from Feed Your Craft. It is called the Budget For It stamp. Um, if it is still available in the shop, I will put a link to it down, down in the description. Um, but I received this stamp, this budget stamp, and budgeting is something that I definitely have a passion for and have definitely fallen off the bandwagon of. So uh, in an effort to get back on the budgeting bandwagon, I am going to be putting together a budget book, or really it's going to be more of an expense tracker, but um, we're just going to call it a budget book because why not? So my idea is to take two of the stamp sets. So this other one is called Terrazzo, and it has these little speckled pieces that you can use to make a pattern like this. So I'm going to be taking this stamp set to create a title page for the book and then on the inside I will be creating um, like an expense tracker for different categories of spending. So uh, what I'm going to do is put you guys on fast forward, get to stamping this out and showing you how I am going to use these to make something really functional. This might not be super pretty or creative or I mean it will be pretty and creative but not not to my normal caliber because uh, I really want this to just be super functional so um yeah so I just thought it would be really fun to turn on the camera and show you guys how you can use your stamp sets to create something that would work in just an everyday life situation so let's go ahead put you guys on fast forward and get to work on this Okay, so let's get to this. Now before I turned my camera on to record this video, I did kind of workshop and do some tester pages just to figure out scale and how many how many sections I could fit on a page and how I wanted everything to look so that when I actually did it inside of the Traveler's Notebook number one, I would reduce the chances of messing up, and number two, I would know that I liked it <laughs> before I put it permanently in this book. So this Traveler's Notebook was one I just had in a drawer somewhere. It didn't, I didn't have a purpose for it, and I figured, hey, why not? I also really like to use this size of notebooks as um, like journaling or list making books. So I figure. Uh, after I do this, whatever remaining pages I have, I can use for lists or I can make more budget sheets or whatever I want to do. So what I did here is I'm taking that stamp, that Terrazzo stamp, and I have picked out two of my Distress inks from Tim Holtz. Um, I think one of them is, I forget what the orange one is. It's either like marmalade or uh, pumpkin. I don't know. I'll, I'll put, I'll put it down in the description so you guys know exactly what it is I'm using. Uh, but so I have an orange one and I have a teal one and I chose those colors because they mimicked the card over to the right side of the screen. I really liked the colors of that card and figured that I could do something very similar for my title page. So that stamp set comes with a bunch of blocks of like speckles is the best way I can put it. Some of the blocks are bigger and some of them are smaller. So I just chose two of the bigger ones. One, like the biggest block of speckles, let's call it. Uh, they are a little bit smaller. And then the second one that I picked had like speckles that were a little bit larger. So it could give me some more variability. And I did um, eventually figure out that I could make it look even more varied by turning the stamp either upside down or angling it a little bit just to make it look less uniformed and more random. So next what I've got going, I am going to create my title for this book, which I just am going to have it say budget and the year. So I took the budget stamp from the budget for it stamp set 
It's just the word. And I used my uh, scrapbook.com, it's called Postal Blue Ink, to stamp the word budget on a piece of spare cardstock. Now, when I was working on this before, I had tried just stamping the word straight onto that background. But the problem is, is that because the inline part of that word uh, was over top of all the speckles, it like almost disappeared into the background. So when I did it in the book, I decided to put it on a piece of spare cardstock, fussy cut it out, and just tape it straight into the book. And then I have the weeks to months stamp set from Feed Your Craft, uh, which has like, it says week, and then it has a bunch of numbers and years. So I pulled out the two and the zero to put 2020. So it just says budget 2020. Now this traveler's notebook, the pages are quite thin. Uh, so there, when you are using stamps, it does ghost through and I didn't like that. So what I decided to do was just to tape every other page together. I don't know if that's, if that makes sense, but so like I taped the front cover to the next page and then this spread I will do and then the page that's on the right I will tape to the one directly behind that one. So it basically like creates a double page thickness uh, for the individual pages. So what I will do now is add titles to the top of each of these pages. So I chose or I will choose three separate categories that I am going to track my spending or my expenses. So um, the way that this stamp set works, it comes with all 12 months, so January through December, and they are like the, the bold stamp with the cutout word. So the word stays white and it's bold, you know, whatever color you stamp around it. And then it also has a bunch of different categories. So there's like crafts and subscriptions and groceries and shopping and car, travel, like there's a bunch of different categories. So um, you could do this a couple of different ways. You could have each section record expenses for a specific category and then list them out by month. Or you could have each section list your expenses based on the month and list them out based on the category. When I first workshopped this, this spread or this book idea, I first started with doing the month and then trying to fill in my categories. But I found that um, for me personally, I liked the idea of having all of a particular category together so I could compare month to month the expenses within that category, if that makes sense, um, rather than, you know, the month and then, and then having them all listed out. Now, if I was doing this as more of a budget plan, I might do the month and then list out the categories rather than categories and listing out the months. So you'll see that more as we get into this. So I have my word budget stamped at the top of this page and to help me differentiate the different sections or the different categories within my book, I am going to change the color of the word budget and that dollar sign, which is really cool. I love that dollar sign. It's super cute. If you are a, like if you use a planner, that could also be a really fun stamp to use as like for paydays and whatever, just because it's so big and bold and you could do it in like a lighter green or a lighter teal color to signify that it's payday. Anyway, um, I will be stamping the next couple pages in different colors. So I, I kept the main three, that orange, the teal, and then the blue from scrapbook.com. Um, and I'm just going to vary them in here. Then underneath the word, I stamped out the category. So the one that you can see right now says grocery, and I just stamped it twice to make it look almost like a line underneath the word budget. So it says budget and then the dollar sign and then grocery twice underneath. So here you can see I will be doing the next set. And the last one, I kept a lot of that footage in just so you could see how I did it. The next couple ones I'm going to skip around so that you don't have to watch so much of it, <laughs> like the taping and the 
well, I guess I left all this taping in, but <laughs> for the taping and all the stamping, I, I took a lot of it out just to make this video go a little quicker. Uh, because everything is stamped, it did take me, I think the raw footage for this was like an hour. So it took me like an hour to just stand at my table and stamp everything in here. And um, then I, I did fill out some of the sections for the past couple months. So I did sit down and do that. Anyway, so there you go. So there is the teal. So I have a teal one, a blue one, and an orange one. And then I'm going to add my dollar signs. And again, I'm just varying it to keep it fun and funky. This is like as decorated as these pages are going to get. <laughs> it's just adding a little bit of a pop of color at the top, which is fun. Um, I mean, I enjoy it. And then um, this one, I will do blue dollar signs. And then that will pretty much finish those ones up. And then um, I'm just going to pull out the categories. So the next category I will do will be my craft category. So I have groceries and then I'll have craft. And then the last one is just going to be like a miscellaneous spending. I think it's called shopping. And I figured that could be for just like miscellaneous stuff. I do pull out a couple of other ones just to debate whether or not to use those instead of shopping. Uh, like there's one that says car. I thought that one could be really good for like oil changes and uh, gas expenses or, you know, random maintenance things. Um, there's also a category for travel, which I considered because we do try to set aside a little bit, like we have a, it's called a sinking fund, where we add a little bit each month into it and over time it builds up and then when we go on vacation, that's what we use to go on vacation. That way we're not like depleting our finances one month when we travel somewhere, although this year, this year uh, so far, <laughs> we have not spent in travel at all because you know we're stuck here at home and same with car it, ac it actually probably would have been interesting to uh, have a car category just so we could see like how little we're spending right now in car expenses because we don't drive um we're we're both really lucky and able to work at home so it's uh although like you know things have changed <laughs> for finances I mean for everyone, I'm sure. Um, it has also affected our spending as well. So now that I have all those titles done, the next thing I'm going to do is create my ledger area. So this is where I will be writing down my expenses. Or if you were doing this as a budget plan rather than an expense tracker, this could be where you would put your categories um, and then like subcategories and the amounts that you are budgeting into those areas. Now on this first section, I make a really big mistake. And here you can see me like, what did I do? What did I do? <laughs> Whoops. Even though, right, you know, you can kind of see it peeking out on the right bottom corner there. I've got my like workshopped one. So I made three pages for each category so that I could fit four ledger sections on each one, right? Because three times four is 12 for 12 months. And for whatever reason, I totally flaked and forgot what I was doing. And I put three categories on those first three pages. So that's only nine months instead of 12. So I definitely had a moment of disappointment and, you know, <laughs> annoyance at myself and then just moved on and figured I would come up with a solution later on how to fix it which I do I do come up with the solution and I'm going to do it right now so um what I do is I take out two of the middle pages which works out perfectly because uh, there are only two pages left in the middle section here so I just rip them out and ultimately that's going to give me four pages to work with then I am going to take three of them and I have to make sure my orientation is correct so that the curved edges are on, you know, the correct sides. And I am just going to re-stamp those pages onto these extra sheets. And then later I will um, trim down the rough edges from where I tore them out and just tape them straight into my book. And you can't really even tell that uh, that I did that. So I did consider just taking some 
plain white cardstock and using that instead of tearing pages out. But since this traveler's notebook here has that dot pattern on it, it first of all, it allowed me to get everything aligned basically perfectly, which was super nice to have those guides. Uh, and then it also made it all match. So like if it was just plain white, you would have noticed that it, you know, that I had made a mistake and covered it up. Not that I care, you know, if you notice there's a mistake, that doesn't really matter. It just, you know, I figured I had the extra pages, I could tear them out and make it work. And so that's what I do. And then here we go, putting the correct number of ledger spaces onto those pages. So um, now that I have all those pages done, I will tape these in almost the very, you know, almost at the very end as one of the last things that I do. So um, I'll just finish up my stamping before I do, before I tape them in. So the next stamp I'm adding to this is this little piggy bank, which by the way is adorable. Like it is so cute, that little piggy. And what I figured I could put in the piggy bank would be savings in that area or income in that area. So for instance, uh, grocery shopping, if we use coupons or, um, you know, when you get your, your grocery receipt at the bottom, it'll tell you how much you saved. I thought that could be an interesting thing to track, like how much are we saving uh, by using things like coupons or... Um, you know, different apps that allow you to save on your groceries for, I mean, because we're not going to make any income off of, <laughs> off of our groceries unless it's like bottle returns. So that could be, that could be an interesting thing to track too. Like what are we, how much are we getting back for our bottle returns? But I guess that technically we already spend anyway, because you have to pay the deposits in order to get the deposits back. But anyway, uh, and same thing for shopping, like shopping would work the same way where it's like, how much are we saving? Or an alternative to that could be if we have a set budget for that area, like let's say we have a set budget for our groceries in the piggy bank, we could put how much we didn't spend. So how much of our budget we saved by, you know, shopping smart, let's say. So that could be really fun. For the craft section, I actually do make a very, very tiny income uh, from uh, from um, some affiliate sources. So I thought that for the craft section, I could put in the piggy bank, you know, how much I made on those affiliate sales, which I mean, you guys is really small, uh, but that's okay. I'm thankful for any income with with this craft like it just helps me pay for my hobby essentially and I mean really I still spend way too much money for craft supplies but I guess if if this is your hobby you probably feel the same way <laughs> there's just always so many good things to buy so um that is the purpose for the piggy bank is just a place to put either savings or you know, how much of our budget we didn't spend or affiliate income or those kinds of things. Just an extra section. Plus, I thought they just looked really cute. So that definitely influenced my decision there. And then the last thing I did, which you can see now, is I stamped the month for each section. So like each page has January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, and then we move on to the next section. And I just, um, what is that called? I... I want to say streamlined and that is not the right word. I uh, assembly lined, there it is. I assembly lined my um, stamping of the months. So that way I just could do all the Januaries and then all the Februaries and so on. So now I have trimmed off that little edge and I am taping them down into the book. And now you can see what I mean, how it's incredibly hard to tell that I have taped in an extra page. So I'll say that that fix worked out brilliantly. <laughs> anyway, once I get these pages taped in here, I am going to take them over to my desk and just sit down and go through some of our past bank statements to start filling them in. Uh, that way you guys can see a little bit better what it looks like when everything does get filled in. For the pictures at the end, I do blur out some of the um, expenses, like the actual dollar amounts, just because, you know, 
I, yeah, <laughs> you guys, I don't, you guys don't need to see that. <laughs> um, but anyway, let's go ahead and slow back down and close you out. All right, you guys, so that finishes up this project and this turned out really fun. So I love how this title page kind of mimics this card right here. Um, I did decide to stamp the budget on a piece of cardstock so that it would come out or like pop out from the page. And then um, I took this aside and started to fill it in. Basically all I'm doing is filling in the name of the place and the dollar amount um, spent and then right here is an example of how I'm recording some of those affiliate um, the income from the affiliate sales and that is that so I've got three sections in here um, one for grocery one for craft supplies and one for just random shopping I do have more pages if I decide to add any more of the categories from the stamp set like I considered putting in a category for car and recording gas expenses um, or school and recording uh, our preschool and uh, nanny um, expenses and stuff like that. Travel. Travel, we don't always spend money every month, so I wasn't sure about that one. But Anyway, um, there are a lot of categories that I could pick from if I chose or choose to continue this book and create any more sections. But this is the general idea of how I wanted this book to work and how you can use this stamp set to create an expense record or a budget for yourself. I hope that that inspired you and gave you some ideas for how to use your stamp sets and how to create your own little budget books. Um, if you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. And uh, that is going to do it for today. So until next time, I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend. Uh, make sure to stop by my Instagram page tomorrow to check out the Sunday sketch. And um, yeah, I will catch you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye now.